your fly. I won't fly. There's no way it won't fly, especially when I get into this 100k zone. Today, Hamish and I are looking at Rocky Mountain Cafe. Yeah. Properties because Exo Beauty and you guys have outgrown our current premises. We've been there for a couple years. Well, we've we moved one, two, three. This is the fourth building now, so we're looking for our fifth. Um, and it, you know, just keeps getting bigger and bigger. So we're trying to find somewhere. We're not sure if it'll be suitable. Otherwise, our other option is just. Um, you got the camera? Yep. This is gonna go. Like building our own. Oh. Uh, we're not. <laughs> Yeah. But as it's you can imagine, it's quite pricey to do that. So hopefully we can find somewhere to lease. The biggest, the biggest thing is we just started you guy and building now would be like I don't know if it's gonna grow. I don't know if it's gonna stay. Yeah, like, like already it's gone like nuts. But we've we've yet to restock. We don't know how the restock's gonna go. And then if that goes well as well, yeah. yeah. So it's hard to know how big an area you need as well. Yeah. We're building a house. Yes. So that's kind of, it's a bit too full on, eh? It is a bit too full on. Um, and also, speaking of that, we are meeting up with Isabel Builder as well. Oh, uh, is that today? Yeah, that's today. later on today. And oh, stairs. We're meeting with a stair specialist again. Let's get another idea of costs and everything. So that's our plan for today. Went to the gym this morning. Not gonna get a lot of work done today. Oh shit, I need to upload. Oh, I keep forgetting. And we have, um, have you told them about how many exciting things are gonna be releasing soon at Exo Beauty? Yeah, Exo Beauty's got tons. Hamish's been working on for like a year, so that's starting to all come out soon. Some of these are like super dope, yeah. super massive. Oh, by the way, who's our builder? Because I was gonna say it last time and then I couldn't remember. Uh, it's Brendan from BB Construction. BB Construction. He's yeah. real good, eh? Yeah, he's really good so far. Um, and his work's amazing. Like we've obviously gone and checked out some of his past buildings, so we're so excited. And he's really, really nice. So yeah, we'll meet up with him later and discuss where we're up to with all of that. Um, when are we hoping to start? So uh, end of May. No, well, I'm pretty sure we're locked in for the end of May. End of May. Holy shit. Woo! It's gonna be here tomorrow, basically, because this year's already gone so quick. So yeah. quick. My hair's so blonde. And we're at also another kind of scary and exciting thing is we're at the point where I think we're gonna like look at hiring more people yeah. to help. Yeah, so if you guys know anyone that's an expert in content creation we want, or uh, ma marketing. marketing and someone to help me with projects. Yeah, product development. Just a little mishmash of things really. We don't know if we'll hire one person or a few. But it's so exciting so someone who's passionate about growing a brand basically and helping the brand get more exposure content out there working with influencers working with creating new exciting products and stuff like that and it's, trend forecasting and all that it's super it, it is actually super fun like, it is it's not it's not boring at all for us at the moment that's why like I was like, oh yay, like the wedding's over, get into YouTube, like be real on top of it. But I've actually spent a lot of my time as well on Exo Beauty and working on heaps of stuff. We've got some new packaging coming out soon, which is really exciting for like our boxes. Yeah, lots of exciting stuff, it's happening. But anyways, we're just about here at our first place. I'm not gonna vlog it, cause in case we end up getting one of these, like I don't want people to know where we're located. We appreciate how they have one. Two, three, wait, where's the, Louis took the other one. Um, yeah, three toys, one flip flop, which I did not leave there. Another toy, oh, there it is. The toy he stole in his mouth, that's actually Zeusie's toy, but you want it. Dramatic. We just put those away. Anyways, um, it is Tuesday, so it was Easter. Um, Easter Monday, so we actually went away to Papamoy and we hang out there with friends. I thought today I would do a vlog and do some Olaplex because I swim in the ocean and my hair is feeling a bit dry. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like chuck in some Olaplex and just like leave it in all day or something. I'm also gonna make a smoothie today because I'm craving a smoothie. My skin's looking quite nice. To I freaking broke out a little bit on it, my cheeks because I accidentally fell asleep with my makeup on. 
on Saturday night and I woke up in the morning and I just had some like congestion and blocked pores and stuff like blackheads so I popped them out and now uh, I guess it looks worse than it is but other than that like my skin's looking really nice I um, am testing out a new face mask so did that last night and helped a lot so I'm going to make a smoothie So, we're not so dark. Okay, my light's not plugged in. We'll go elsewhere then. I'm just uploading a new video, but I'll show you just what I've got in my hair now. It is at this Olaplex, number three. Um, I'm just gonna leave it in like all day and wash my hair this afternoon. You can leave it in for 10 minutes or longer, so I'm just chilling. Um, so yeah, I've just put up a new video trying out a TikTok blush hack and also did this like amazing pink makeup I think I showed you in my last vlog. So yeah, I'm really excited about this one. I'm just about to share it on my socials, do a bit of editing today and yeah, that's the plan pretty much. My cute little plant thriving. Oh, actually this leaf is not thriving. But look, there's heaps of new ones down here. I wonder how tall this thing gets. It's quite sturdy. It almost looks like a fake plant, but it's not. This one here also has grown like friggin five inches at the top there which is pretty cool it's got a whole new bit i really like the way this one's looking it gives me cactus vibes without being spiky you know hi did you have a haircut you sure did yes you sure did <laughs> this has a whole new leaf too so i feel like i yeah need to replant it again i've just kind of been tying it so it goes upwards but i need a moss stick someone said like a moss climber where the heck do i get them from in new zealand because i can only find them like when i google it on aliexpress and like wish which i'm like is that illegal to like <laughs> order and import to new zealand probably i don't know so what can i use that i can get easily in new zealand please help me hey and look how huge this middle branch is it's starting to flop over though so i'm not too sure what to do I'm making one of you guys' favourites for lunch. My poached eggs, avocado and toast. Oh my god, my hair looks cray. So I've been avocado this morning, but it's a little bit like past, past it, you know what I mean? So I'll have it in my smoothie tomorrow. I'm going to open a new um, avocado now. Oh, well, this might be hard. I've got so many avocados right now. You're right, it looks good, might be a little bit hard, but we'll make it work. I'm gonna have a quick tidy up of this bench here because um, I want to do some declutters up there. Oh my gosh, look, sneak peek. Ooh, here we go. 
it's a whole lot better. I have just been so uninspired to vlog because I felt like shit this week. <sighs> the entire week. Okay, so today's Thursday. Since last Friday, I've had this rash on my eye. I don't know if it was the eyeshadow I put on. I filmed and I used a glitter eyeshadow by Colourpop and that night while I still had it on, it was so itchy and I took it off. I don't know if it scratched my skin and then turned into like a reaction or if it's like hay fever related because this I did have it as well so like that would make sense with either of those options I guess um but this I cleared up a lot quicker and I do experience more swelling on this eye for some reason I don't know if it's like the side I sleep on or like what the deal is but I finally feel like today it's starting to like hurt less and now it's just really itchy and dry and flaky I'm trying not to actually touch the area of course but I've just kind of like avoided that area doing skincare and everything and this week we've just been doing heaps of exo beauty you guy like all of that um with the relaunch coming up and also new exo beauty stuff i'll show you a sneak peek because i feel shit for not vlogging like i was like oh my god yeah i can vlog again and now i've just stopped me vlogging because i'm just like what am i even going to talk about i'm sitting here editing day in day out because i can't do anything else because my eyes are screwed <gasps> anyway we got some new packaging Bloody cute. New tissue paper for your packages. Sneak peek. Two different highlighting palettes. Eyeshadow palettes. And lip veil. Sneak peek, sneak peek. So today I'm editing yet again. Um, I edited a declutter. So I'm going to edit the thumbnail and down bar for that today so I can put that up tomorrow. But I thought I'd just quickly move all my packages into my room so that when my eyes better, I can film and I can film a PR haul because there's that much stuff you guys that much stuff and look at this like I just I, every time I need to go get dressed and put on shoes because this is where I put my shoes in this room I can't even get in they're not only hold on why is this on there we go it was on manual focus they're not only on the floor all over all, all, all over here they're also that way they're on the bed so I'm gonna move them all to my room I'm going to pop on a live stream just move all the packages, open them up, get rid of any rubbish. <sighs> Honestly, my outfits look like this every day right now. Trap pants and oversized t-shirts. It is not a vibe. I mean, it's comfy as heck, but so much stuff just everywhere. I need to wash my makeup towel. I need to put away some of those palettes down there. I need to film some more first impressions, which I was planning on doing, but then my eye got all irritated. The last one I filmed was when I was filming that other video with this. So I've got to edit that video. And I bought some new mascaras and I bought some lotion because I have this at the beach house and I was using it and I was like, holy shit, this is the best moisturizer ever. It soaks in so good and it's just so, so nice. Like, you know, sometimes some moisturizers on um, dry skin, like when you're not just fresh out of the shower and you try to put them on, they just don't rub in well and they just feel yuck and they feel greasy. Like this one just goes on like a dream. It's like water and it soaks in. It's amazing. But the only place I could find it was Amazon. So I'm hoping that this isn't fake, if you know what I mean. But we'll soon find out, I suppose. But yeah, if it is the right one, it's amazing. It's called the um, Moisture Recovery. Lightweight lotion rapidly refreshes and replenishes dry, depleted skin. A steady stream of rich hydration sustains skin with no greasy afterfeel. I just love feeling like uber hydrated. My skin's less dry since taking Ugaia, but like, I don't know. I still get like really dry patches on my shins especially and my elbows and my upper arms sometimes. So, I don't know, I just, I, I'm not a daily moisturizer, I'm terrible, because I just can't bother going to the effort, so this one's nice and easy and quick, and makes me feel like a silky goddess. <sighs> so, that was my new stuff, where I got some new mascaras, because at the beach house also, I was using a Max Fact mascara, and I was like, holy shit, this used to be like my favorite mascara, and they don't sell anymore, so I bought three, because they had buy two, get one free. Um, so I'm hoping one of them's like, as good. I can't remember what the one was but it looked similar to this packaging but it wasn't this one so i'll probably try that one first hopefully it's just like repackaged or something oh also i've been having a smoothie every single day again because i just find that my eating is way more under control for the rest of the day it means that i've eaten something so if i'm busy and i forget to eat it's not as bad because sometimes i just wouldn't eat until like dinner time which like you know intermittent fasting is fine everything but i wasn't getting enough calories and then another day i'd be so hungry or like i'd be like in this weird mindset and then i'd eat too much and it's just like not balanced eating you know so 
every day I've been having smoothie. I've been trying to have just a light lunch and then I have my dinner, which we've been doing HelloFresh. This video isn't sponsored or anything. I was sponsored by them on Instagram stories a few weeks ago, but I still get this stuff. So yeah, we've still been doing HelloFresh every week because I love it so much. I actually enjoy like cooking and like doing it and I feel like a pro. So I, don't, I just genuinely love it. So I'll show you what we cook for dinner tonight. Um, and I've been like, like using their recipes as well, just like without, you know, on the extra days, like I'll use elements of their recipes. So, so I've been having smoothies and I've been making them gutsy. So this is about like 400 calories. I put in half an avocado. I put in a small amount of blueberries, some spinach, ice water, a little bit of almond milk. I put in Ugaia. I put in protein powder and chlorella powder and turmeric powder so good so good um especially like the ugaia powder i can put in like the chlorella and put in the ugaia and the ugaia like masks it or like spirulina powder or whatever and it just tastes like fruity so that's what i've been doing every day so i made that this morning i didn't show you guys because i think i showed a smoothie in the part before this vlog today i can't remember but anyways yeah you'll be seeing smoothies again i've been trying to have one every day and just trying to make sure that my nutrition's okay because you know if I want to get pregnant and everything I want to make sure I'm getting like all of my vitamins and mega fats and all of that good stuff so this right here is like a superfood concoction like it's got so much good shit in here omega fats healthy fats it's got vitamins it's got antioxidants it's got all sorts so and then I'm not gonna lie half the time for lunch I just have like a bit of toast with some avocado and hot sauce on because it's all I've been craving is like hot sauce <laughs> And I'm like, well, hey. yeah, I'm going to check on a live stream now. I don't know who I'm going to watch. My favorite is Kark here, but he's been playing weird games lately. And I want him to play Overwatch because I love watching him play Overwatch because I love his sense of humor. Oh, SK is playing Apex Legends. I love her too. Let's watch some SK. And I have been playing Apex a little bit lately. Fire up, man. Like, I'm so out of practice with it, though. I just get absolutely smoked every time. <laughs> I've been playing COD again and um, Overwatch the most and I went through a rust phase because I got the rust beta and it was so much fun but I couldn't stream it or show it or anything because you're not allowed to with betas but I'm so excited for the game to come out. Hey, honestly, I've not even moved at all but I need a break. I'm literally like sweating because I've been doing recycling in between and I haven't even finished. There's so much shit. Holy shit. I am so blessed to have PR. Oh, emails. Oh, it is exhausting. There's so much shit to like You guys don't understand. It's so much work to just even unbox it all That's why I always put it off so long and just do like one big day of unboxing But like look that took me like two hours just to do as much unboxing as I did I didn't even look through everything obviously because I do that in the video, but that was just like You know filtering it putting like the stuff aside Getting rid of extra packaging so that when I'm actually filming it, it doesn't take four hours because I'm sitting there opening it all. Like it's just like undoing other boxes, doing recycling. I've already filled out one recycling bin. <laughs> and I also filter out like everything I can reuse, any bubble wrap, any tissue papers that I can reuse, any boxes I can reuse for our businesses. I do that because reduce, reuse, recycle, try to do a bit of everything. Um, yeah, there's a lot. I've barely even had any of my smoothies, so I'm going to sit, do some editing, thumbnails and stuff and drink this and by the way I also got a stick for my plant because everyone told me I needed one so I don't know if I did or I just stuck it in there but he's definitely standing more upright now because it's kind of leaning against it and I have a new leaf look at it so yeah it's starting to unravel itself now ah uh, look some more PR just put together a I'm just letting the ink dry a little baby gift for Carly and look what I had to include <laughs> The classic New Zealand Buzzy Bee, which he won't be able to use for a few years, but, you know, it's just iconic and it's so cute. Cute little blanket and heaps of clothes from my favorite baby clothing brand, Jamie K. I literally bought so much of it for um, my nieces when they were babies, so stocked up. And the card's really cute. I got this from Flo and Frankie which is a really cool website. I always buy like gifts and stuff off, and, like cards. I just bought a few more cards because I also want to send her, since it's lined up well, I want to send her a restock of you guys and my new collection from Exo Beauty that's launching soon. Um, since by the time she gets this parcel, we'll be, yeah, launching and you guys due to land here any day. So we'll send it when it arrives. 
Um, I was actually supposed to send this, I don't know, a few weeks ago, but I kind of just got busy with life, so hopefully the baby clothes still fit. There's a few different bits and pieces, so anyways. I'm about to make lunch, I was just checking what the macros for this meal are. Um, HelloFresh is definitely not like super low calorie, but it works with, you know, what I eat for the rest of the day. So today, for example, I'm sitting at between like 1500 and 1600 calories, including this. Um, cause this is like 900 calories for dinner, but I'm okay with that kind of thing because I would rather eat more at night time cause I like hate feeling hungry at night time. Whereas during the day I just kind of have my snacks, like all smoothie, which is still a meal, but you know what I mean? And I just like continue through the day. I'm busy. So I don't think about it. But at night time, I'm like, I feel like eating. So this would be yum. Hamish requested this recipe for dinner tonight. Last night, oh no, last night we went out for dinner with a friend, but the night before last night we made a Sri Lankan curry and it was so delicious. They do actually have like healthier options too, or not even healthier, because I feel like most of their recipes are not unhealthy. They're all made from like whole food and like different vegetables and protein and stuff like that. Um, but like they've got lower calorie meals as well, I should say, because you know, this has got like the tortillas and it's got aioli and breadcrumbs and things, but oh, it's so good. I can't wait to cr uh, cook this one. I had their beef tacos last time, which was like three weeks ago. Honestly, like never will forget those. They were the best ever and Hamish is like, I want tacos again. So I put them on this week's menu. These are homemade pickled onions. I learned how to make them through HelloFresh as well. I use stevia salt and white wine vinegar and red onion. So I'm gonna put some of them on my oofed toast and some Tabasco. Trust me, it is so good. It's like sour, sweet, and like salty with the avocado and salt. Literally the best. You can also put lime juice if you want, but I'll just do these. Done and look how pretty it is. By the way, did I show you guys my nails? They're so cute.
got on the Truly Beauty acne mask right now. It just like soaks in. It's like aloe and heaps of like acne ingredients. Because I just extracted some blackheads off of my chin. So we'll see how my skin looks tomorrow. Whoop, I'm gonna be getting a text. Just played some Overwatch tonight. Chilled out. Got some pretty terrible news about um, something in our personal life. It's nothing like about like health or anything like that. But just something else I can't really talk about. I'm just like, uh, one more thing to deal with, if you know what I mean. And it's pretty bad and pretty nuts. But I don't want to talk about it on a vlog just yet. But I probably will tell you once it's all sorted out because it's like mental low key. Um, but yeah, so that's a bit of drama. We're just going to watch some Netflix. We're watching that Through Her Eyes or something. Is that what it's called? We're on episode three and it's so good. I love it. I love these types of shows. But yeah, I've been using a lot of Truly Beauty lately. I'm really enjoying it, like the eye cream and serums, the toner, um, hair mask and stuff. Man, today was low-key exhausting, lots of stuff happening, but we got through it. I hope you guys are well, I hope you guys have had some good news lately, I hope you guys are feeling positive, and if they're not, I'm sending you hugs and good wishes and something good is going to come into your life so soon. Manifest it. Love you all. Good night.